Hello and welcome into a special edition of Destination Education where the students and staff are the stars. As you can see, this week's episode brings me to Brothers Park for the Boys Soccer State Championship Tournament. But before we get into the excitement of the tournament, we'd like to highlight and recognize the rest of our fall sports teams. So let's start right here on the pitch. The girls soccer team had another outstanding season, finishing the regular season with a 6-4-5 and four and five record, advancing them to postseason play. They fought hard, but their season came to an end against Columbia. Congratulations to the seniors and thank you to everyone who has supported them all year. We can't wait to see what you accomplish in the years to come. Now moving over to the volleyball court, our Lady Cougars hit some major milestones this year. The team finished the regular season with a 7-7 record, the first winning record in over a decade. This advanced the team into postseason play where they took on the Bishop Kelly Knights and the Ridgeview Warhawks. Although their season came to an end earlier than they had hoped, they fought hard all season. Congratulations to the 10 seniors on a great career. We can't wait to see what your future holds. Now our men's and women's cross country teams competed at the district championship meet on Thursday at Eagle Island State Park. Both the boys and girls teams ran well at the meet, but it was the boys team who punched their ticket to the state championship in Pocatello on Saturday, October 28th. The team took home second place at districts. Congratulations on your successful season, and we can't wait to cheer you on next week. The swim team will compete in districts next week, with the JV team competing on Tuesday and the varsity team competing on Wednesday. Good luck to you, and we can't wait to see how you do. Now on Friday, the football team played in their final game of the 2023 regular season. The Cougars had a huge turning point this season. They defeated the Nyssa Bulldogs 47-20. The Cougars played at Simplot Stadium for the first time since 2003, taking on crosstown rival Valley View. Congratulations to the Cougars for hitting some major milestones this season. We'd also like to recognize the boys and girls golf teams for a job well done this fall. All right, well, let's get into the hype of the state tournament. The Cougars took on Sandpoint in the first round. The game was scoreless in the first half, but it was the Cougars who would get on the board first towards the end of the second half. But the Bulldogs would tie it up with a few minutes left. After two overtimes, the Cougars would fall to Sandpoint in penalty kicks. On Friday, the team took on the number two seed Canyon Ridge, who would ultimately end their season with a 3-0 victory. Congratulations on another outstanding season and way to represent Caldwell. Congratulations to all of our seniors on your great careers. You have made a tremendous impact both in your sport and on Cougar athletics. Now make sure to tune in next week to see where the highlights will take me. Thank you for watching and have a great week.